it's going. So quite a while ago, um, I built this old piece of technology um, and some software in JavaScript um, to control it. Uh, basically the idea um, is that it's a 3D printer and it uses UV curable resin and a DLP projector to cure it. Um, so basically how this works is we take an STL like off of Thingiverse or something that you model in um, SketchUp or some other 3D modeling program and we run through, we, we put a plane, we actually slice the entire object um, on the z-axis and that slice is actually displayed um, on a web page that's actually going to be projected down underneath this tray when it's filled with UV curable resin and we'll let it cure and then we'll move the plane up and we'll slice it again show a new image and step the stepper motor um, all of this is being controlled with node um, I'm not sure if it will work but we definitely should try so here we go okay so um, we're going to be using MakerJuice G Plus um, for this. It's a special blend from MakerJuice.com. It's apparently really easy to use. It cures really fast, and it I don't know. It works really well. Um, before I actually tried um, to make my own, and I'm not a chemist, and so some of the the information on how to mix this stuff is not very not very good. And so now I have this like brick of something in there. I think it's just unmixed um, resin. Um, so I figured <laughs> why why have that as a potential failure point when I know or I don't know but I'm fairly convinced that this is um, this is gonna work way better. So I'm gonna try this out instead. So it's not very fast. That's okay. It's very precise. I think there's 15,000 steps per millimeter. 15,000. <laughs> yeah, right. This thing is so old, there's scratches everywhere. Okay, and that way we can track. Um, oh, I'm running low. Okay, so I tried a couple of models, um, different cure times. Uh, the last one I tried, um, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, there's like these these two nubs. Um, basically, the problem here is um, it half cures to the to the plexi, and half cures to the glass. 
So as you can see there, there was a bubble in here, which might have affected um, the ratio of curing to the glass. It's really solid on the glass, um, but it's also pretty solid on the plexi. So I, I feel like there's just a better way. Oh, look at that. That's actually not too bad at all. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it was just uh, just the way, like there were bubbles in it and it started lifting the platform off of the, or the tray off of the, off of the base. Yeah, this is not bad at all, actually. It peels right off. I wonder. Yeah, that peels right off too, though. So, I mean, I don't know which one, which one's better. Yeah, kind of over cured on the side up here. There's a bunch of, um, I guess, leakage, UV leakage on the top and the bottom. Oh, these tweezers are not, not the best. Oh no, I got it on my finger. I'm gonna die. There's definitely work to be done here. Um, I mean, this is this is very promising. but I mean, it cured like the entire sheet. I mean, there were mistakes. Um, at one point, you know, the entire screen went white and that just, that that's not good. It means that it's just gonna try and cure the entire thing. Uh, but it was there for, I don't know, a matter of seconds. So I can't imagine that actually, you know, causing this much to cure on there. This is interesting. Uh, yeah, so I will continue on this, but this is the current current state of the art in in my domain, at least. I've seen other people do this. Um, I mean, there's a guy in Kickstarter that has done it with salt water. Um, I might I might copy one of them. You know, I just kind of want this to work. Um, and we can, you know, refine it later, or, you know, I might play around with it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the tray. All in all, this is a, this is a good kind of experiment. Until next time.